Dave Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, as you can see, I'm joined with a very, very special guest today, Mikey, also known as Clavicar. Oh my God, you guys, I this collab. Okay, she has been in the works, to He's say the least. Patient. <laughs> this was supposed to happen last year. Okay, one Halloween ago, 365 days ago, and it did not happen. It was my fault. I will take full responsibility. But the time of year is back. There are spooky, scary skeletons sending shivers down your spine. It is Halloween time, and you guys know I had to have Mikey on the channel to do an iconic Halloween transformation, and I'm just so excited, you guys. She's literally the sweetest, the most talented ever in the entire world. So. Welcome to the channel, sister. Oh, thank you, sister. <laughs> Let me tell you something, sister. Okay. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, God. What, what did I do now? Because I don't want another scandal. Of all the years that you've been a sister, yes. you've never been a real sister. Where's this going? We're turning you into the nun. It's like a sister. Oh, from the movie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, wow. how, but how? How are you? The sister who's never been a sister. Well, I did do a nun, like a, a nun, like a, not the nun, but like a nun like a few years ago no. for Halloween. And I had a, car, a cross carved into my forehead upside down with blood. It was okay, a good luck. Good. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fresh. It's <laughs> but like the nun is a really, I wouldn't say it's a bomb movie. It's a decent movie, but the character itself. Don't put this in there. I haven't seen it. You, <laughs> Mikey. I know. You haven't seen the movie? No. Oh my god. It was okay. I do like James Wan a lot, so I, I really I should have James seen Wan. it. It's on my to-do list, okay? Okay. We can watch it together after the class. Okay, great. Home I appreciate movies that. are the way to go. We'll get into that in the video. Well, in honor of Mikey's channel being called Glam and Gore, as you can see right now, I'm very glam. We're gonna transform into something very gore, yes. and it's gonna be very, very fun. So if you guys wanna come along on this spooky makeup transformation journey, keep on watching. Time to get ugly. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we make you super ugly is we need to put teeth in your mouth and mold them to your I'm, pretty teeth. I'm already mad about this. Nope, too bad. <laughs> okay, my teeth are like the absolute one thing on my face that I am happy with. Everything else- I don't care. <laughs> my teeth. We're not here to be pretty, James. True, you gotta not, give it that's up. that's not, Okay. You're gonna look so cute. That's disgusting. Hold those up. You're gonna look so cute. Hi, sisters. <laughs> Okay, what do we have to do to apply these? So we're gonna stick them in boiling water. Okay. Stick these in boiling water. Just like making a retainer? Yeah, a spooky retainer. Okay, <laughs> great. Exactly. Okay, so should I deglam now then? Yes. Damn. Take it all off. Okay. The face, just the face. Relax. Okay, I'm gonna deglam and we'll see you guys downstairs in the kitchen in a second. Okay, that's okay. good. Yeah, thank you. Watch the cup. You watch the cup. No, watch the cup. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what Isn't the heck? <laughs> okay, so what yeah, are we doing genius. with this hot cup of water and these disgusting tea? I'm so scared for this, Mikey. They're cute. <laughs> so we're pouring polymorph plastic into hot water. Okay. And if you I watch it, this. it's a lot like your mug. See what's happening? It's, oh yeah, wow. It's disappearing. What the heck? How does that even work? So it turns clear when it's fully warmed and then we're gonna fish it out. Whoa. Oh my God, you can literally just... Yeah. What the heck? SFX is fun, man. Oh my god, that is so, what? Give me that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then, once it's still hot, you can bend it like that, you push it in there, and then your job is you're going to gently push this against your teeth, and then hold it there for about a minute, and the plastic's gonna start to harden around your teeth. We might need to do this a couple times, because it's it's a little finicky to get the mold just right, but once it's just right, they just pop right in. So you're gonna do the same thing to the bottom one, where you just mold it to the arch uh -huh. of your mouth for now? Hi, Lewis. All right, you guys, so we are back and the teeth are all molded to my face. Should we show them or should we wait no. until the end? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's very <laughs> sad your decision on this. Okay, great. So, Mikey, let's start our next steps, I guess. Okay. The next step is to get rid of these. My brows? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh my god, my poor disgusting head. I like it. It's dead. So, okay. you can obviously cover your brows the old-fashioned way with the glue stick and the stuff. Or, you can use FX brow covers, which are just little pieces of foam latex. Okay, and love that. And you can glue it right on top of your brow. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna use Prozade then. Yeah, I already spilled some on the table. You did. I've always had a major infatuation with special effects makeup. I think it is so cool. I know the basics. I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form, but I can get to a finished product that looks passable. Passable is what we aim for Yeah, 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 for sure. That's definitely all I aim for. Okay, well, you're, I would say you're a little bit better than passable, if I, judging based on your work, but. I fooled you, good. <laughs> Let's talk about spooky horror movies, because that's literally my favorite topic in the entire world to discuss, 
and I don't get to talk about it very often because most people I feel like don't like horror movies, which is really sad. What are your top favorites? Because I have mine and I have my list memorized. What are your favorites? As far as classics go, I love The Exorcist. I think that a lot of people think that it's like silly now because it yeah. doesn't hold up to the times. Yeah. But at the time, it scared people so bad that they yeah. were running out of the theaters vomiting. They had priests in the theaters because people were so freaked Isn't out by so, it. Yeah, it's like imagine, funny to think about. Imagine that happening today. I don't think that would ever happen today. No, there's nothing that they could put on camera, no. The internet desensitized us to everything. Okay, I'm gonna give my list of favorites. Yeah, and I want your feedback, okay? Yeah. My top two are probably tied between Hereditary and Sinister, and obviously they're very different movies. Hereditary was one of the first movies that I ever saw that actually left me, like, frightened. There was not a lot of jump scares in the movie, but I actually left the theater and went home and was like, ooh, wow, I'm a little bit spooked to go to sleep tonight. It like left my stomach churning. It's and disturbing. that's when I knew it was, it's disturbing. It's a good way to put it. That was a good movie. I love, love, love Hereditary. My next favorites, As Above, So Below. Great one. Phenomenal, nice. phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal movie. Did you see Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? I didn't, but I heard that the FX was really good. Phenomenal. There's one scene that literally, it was so uncomfortable to watch that I like felt like I was gonna throw up, but also could not take my eyes off the screen because I was so intrigued by both the visuals and just the thought of what went on to create what I was watching. So one of the stories is like this boy, he lives on a farm and he has a scarecrow and he always kicks it with his friends. And then one day the scarecrow comes to life and kills him. And then when he kills him, the boy turns into a scarecrow. The scarecrow stabs him and then he starts coughing and hay starts coming out of his mouth. He sees his arms and like hay starts like coming out of his sleeves and like oh, his cool. fingers start like He's turning into scarecrow. hay. So he turns into the scarecrow. Uh -huh. But he like is literally like suffocating out hay and there's like vines and like Oh my god, it, literally just thinking about it like, makes me feel uncomfortable. But they did it so, so well. It was insane to watch. It's our knock life for us. I'm gonna spirit gum your mouth shut. Oh, please do. That was the worst <laughs> thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> but probably the most necessary thing anybody's it's ever said to me. <laughs> so now it looks like we're gonna powder. Oh, thank you. Can I have make a confession? <laughs> I'm awful at scar wax. Is we it? all are. It's just the nature of the beast. Are it's, you being serious though? Yeah, it's very hard to work with. But oh, it's it impossible. Is I literally thought I was just like incompetent and couldn't figure out the right method. No, it's hard to work with, but for something like what we're doing today, if we can get it to work, it is our best shot at it looking great. It's a great out of kit option, yeah. but it's it's difficult to use. There's a couple tricks that make it easier. Okay. One of which is putting prose down first. Okay. So that it has something to stick to. Okay. That's, That's what we're definitely doing good right now. now. Okay. And the other thing you can do to make it easier is you need a Vaseline. For what? So that it doesn't stick to your hands. So you grease up your hands first, oh, and then you we... touch the nose and scar wax, and then it's easier to use. Oh my God, wow. Game changer. Yeah, that does actually seem like it would be a major help. Every time that I've ever tried to use it, it just molds to my fingers, and then yeah. it starts sticking, and then you can't achieve anything. Huge pain in the ass. What is your favorite transformation that you've ever done? I turned myself into a realistic Gore Ursula last Halloween. Ooh, okay. I really liked that one. I think I remember that video. She was cute. I'm gonna push on your nose a little bit, but let me know if I hurt you. No worries. Because I'm not gonna stop. Okay. Ew, what the f- Hold on, hold on. The Mona Lisa wasn't done in a day, okay? My nose is like the one thing on my face that I used to be really, really insecure about, but really? I've grown to love it. Yeah, I don't know why. You have a great nose. Thank you. I used to hate it when I first started doing makeup because I could not figure out how to contour it for the life of me, and mm -hmm. I just thought it was so ugly. Plus, you're young. I mean, honestly, I feel like people grow into their face and their noses. Yeah. It's like I'm picking boogers right out of your nose. There's probably lots in there. No, it's just scar wax, but it, it looks like boogers. Miss boogers. <laughs> oh my okay, god, this is so disgusting. That's just your face, honey. I'll take a villager from Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do! This nose is everything, so I'm just making sure I get it right. Yeah. I feel like I'm sculpting the Michelangelo right now. Or the David. Oh, you're definitely not. <laughs> Well, you're awful. Over there. That's really accurate, I feel like. To I was gonna say, that's her nose, and if you disagree, oh well. Great. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're just powdering this as well. We're gonna powder that so it's not so shiny, and then we get to paint. Oh, which already? Which is really, yeah. Are you using an M501 for this? Interesting brush choice. Great for FX2, not just glam. Love that. Pick Thank it you up. for the little promo. Pick it up at your local Morphe store today or morphe.com. Use code James for 10% off. Wow, you're a legend. She actually does have the brush set with her. That is really cute. I also have... Wow, you're a legend. Do you actually like using it? I need yeah. to get you the mini palette. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's too white. All right, let's go all in. You okay, ready? so now we're just gonna apply a light base layer, right? So just white all over. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, great. And luckily, her foundation is a little splotchy. She's not a beauty guru. I was gonna say, can relate. Put a little highlight on the cheekbone. Thank you. Can really brighten up and bring attention to the face, you know? Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna start stippling your face with some green okay. and browns and tans because her face has got some texture. And using a sponge like this is good because it's automatic texture. Okay, love that. I, mean, I should try this for faux freckles, but not this color. <laughs> I literally use an FX sponge for a faux freckle tutorial from like years really? ago. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cool. You know what you kind of look like? Be really careful with what you're about to say right now. <laughs> You kind of look like when, you know, you've seen a statue that a bird has pooped on a lot of times. Yeah. You look like that. Okay, I love that. I'm gonna give you a black eye. Great. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes. Like live on camera. The drama channels will go crazy about that one. Oh, you wanna just stage it? No. I'm just gonna put black all around the eyeballs, basically. Yeah, cause that's what she's got going on. She's got a very messy, intense, smoky eye. Okay. A beauty guru. For sure? For sure. When's the last time someone made you ugly? This morning. <laughs> Lewis? Oh my god. <laughs> Probably the last time that I got transformed for like the beauty convention video. I don't really have a lot of people do my makeup kind of period, let alone special effects stuff. Oh, special. Yeah, this is like my second time ever having special effects like applied to my face, I think. Yeah. Mikey, what are your favorite ways to stay inspired for actual Halloween looks? What I tend to do is I think of something that I just really like, like a movie that I really like, or a show, or a character, and then I try to think of some kind of twist to put on it, or whether it's like a gender bender, or it's a glam thing and I put an FX twist on it, something mm -hmm. like that. Or just, if all else fails, pick a really common costume or character and then zombify it. Ooh, okay. So this year for Halloween, I was feeling a little uninspired. I found this really beautiful pirate dress mm. and I'm just gonna be a zombie pirate. Love that. Yeah. Using a little bit of Spooky from the new James Charles X Morphe mini palette, perfect for glamming on the go, including Halloween makeup. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you a black map. Okay, great. <laughs> Not even amazing, I'm like, <laughs> Really emphasizes the lips. Luscious, pouty. Did you know that the Shadow Spooky from the James Charles X Morphe palette is great as a lipstick? I have never tried it before. Fun fact. <laughs> I love that you knew the shade name though. I know all the shade names. Do you? <laughs> Yeah, quiz me. Okay, what's this one? Murder. Nope. <laughs> it's your kidding. Are you kidding? Show this one. Vomit. Nope, this one. Exorcist puke green. Yes, that is, you actually got that one right. Tea. That's the brown shade. Wait, is there tea? Yeah. Ah! Social blade mixed with that one. Daddy. <sighs> yeah, daddy. Just cut that out. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna cut that in post. When we said the James Charles palette could truly create any look, <laughs> we <it>. meant it. <laughs> Right now, I'm just uh, giving you some contour over right. here. Really emphasize the checkbones. All right, you guys. Well, we've been glamming or goring rather for a few hours now, so we're gonna go take a quick break for some fried chicken, which should be an interesting eating experience. We'll see you back here in a few minutes. My God. Yuck. All right, you guys. We're back from eating some nice chicken tenders and fries. Surprisingly, the face is not that messed up. We're professional eaters. There's also a fly that is getting so brave. Oh, it was so <laughs> close. Damn it. Oh you my God. You saw it, you saw it. Do you remember your earliest Halloween costume? As a kid? Yeah. Yes. What was it? I remember being a mummy when I was oh. in preschool and my mom and I took toilet paper and like wrapped it in, or like soaked it in like tea to get it like a nice, like nice spookin' brown color. Spookin'! Me, my mom and I made all my costumes DIY when I was a young kid, just cause like it was fun for us to do. My mom was very crafty. Yeah, it's cute. Which was always awesome. I was a clown in was. preschool. Still, oh, you are really <laughs> getting brave, Mikey. Oh my God. <laughs> this is, you're flying. This is not okay. Got it. Yeah, that's payback for the harassment that I'm taking. I can still glue your mouth shut. Okay. So I'm gonna add some veins, a little bit of detailing, and then I, I think it's gonna be about time for accessories. Just using black cream black paint? Black cream paints, yeah, for the veins. Okay. So you just tap it that with water and it just disappeared? Yep, that's kind of the secret to veins is if you tap it out when it's water-based or alcohol-based, it looks like it's under the skin a little bit more. That's so cool. No. This looks crazy, Mikey. Oh my gosh. Contacts time. Contacts time. Okay, this I'm scared for because I'm not gonna be able to see for the remainder of this video. So I literally won't even see the finished look until, oh gosh, we look back at the footage. 
fun. <gasps> Spooky. Yes. Okay, one Come in. in. Yes. Yes. Ah, cool. Ah, cool. Oh, wow, this is so spooky looking. <laughs> All right, you guys, so now we have the look pretty much all on. I have my contacts in. They are actually like comfortable. I can see, but I can't see. So that's um, good, I guess. <laughs> we're pretty much almost done. All we have left is the costume and the teeth. So we're going to quickly get changed off camera and then we will show you guys the finished look. <laughs> Yeah. All right, sisters. Well, I think that completes this non transformation with the incredible Mikey Glamagor. Oh my god, you <laughs> killed this, murdered this, for lack of a better Halloween word. This looks incredible. I don't even recognize myself. I'm like, afraid of you. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but it's not James. You could walk around outside right now and no one would ever know it was you. Why does that sound so fun? All right, you guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this little Halloween transformation. Thank you so much again, Mikey, for coming on my channel. You are You're very welcome. The absolute best. I had such a good time with you, and I really hope that you guys, you sisters, there you go. Enjoy this video as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up down below and show your love and support. It really does help us out so, so, so much. And also leave us a comment. Let us know what is your favorite horror movie of all time. We want to know, let's have a horror little discussion. Give us some recommendations as well because me and Mikey want to have a horror night very, very soon yeah. together. And we love to watch one of your guys' all time favorites. And if you've not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and come join this sisterhood. I would love to have you in the family. Also click that bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. But more importantly, also head over to Mikey's channel over on YouTube. Please subscribe. She is so incredibly talented and has literally the craziest tutorials of both glam, but mostly gore <laughs> all year round. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and now also TikTok, TikTok literally my favorite app of all time. Follow me at James Charles and also my Snapchat for more behind the scenes I stuff is James Charles and extra S after Charles. This video <laughs> sister shout out goes to sister Abby. Thank you so much love for always following and supporting. You know I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be in the next video's sister shout out, I feel like it looks so weird that I have this full face on and just like normal hands. I'm like, hey girl, what's up? What's good? <laughs> If you like to the next videos, sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my release single live on Twitter and also turn on YouTube post notifications. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I will see you on Friday and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween! Bye! Bye.